Hey YouTube, it's DLouis007. Today I'm going to show you the updated version of the PlayStation 1 emulator for Mac OS X running Mountain Lion and Mavericks. So this can run any OS of, of uh, Mac that you have. Snow Leopard, Leopard, Lion, Mountain Lion, Mavericks. Could run Panther, can run whatever you have. So, first things first. You're going to download the link I'm going to have in the description which will give you this folder. And then once you open that up, you'll get two two uh, things. You get the folder for what you're going to plug in your application support and you have the application itself. So, first thing you're going to do is go to go. You're going to hold down option so you'll see the library folder popping up right here. Once you get that going, you'll go down to application support and just drag the folder. Drag the folder right here. Uh, it'll just plop it in. So once that's in, you'll uh, open up the application. Uh, first, you gotta drag it in your applications folder. Once that's going, you'll have to. Oh, and another thing: if it doesn't open up the first time, it'll give you some sort of error that your uh, computer blocked it. You'll have to go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and it'll show up right here. The application saying PC blah 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 cannot open. Just hit uh, Allow. And then it will be allowed to be open. Alright, so once you have that going, go to Preferences. Go to uh, Plugins to configure your controller. Um, you, can add, you can put in your uh, PlayStation 3 controller. Or you can set up uh, via Bluetooth or um, if you have the USB cable, you can uh, go to Analog. So I just set up my keyboard for now. Um, everything else is fine. Here's the game I was just playing, Crash Bandicoot, and it gives you two uh, gives you two memory cards. And then the BIOS, you have all your BIOSes over here. Um, so this is the game I was just playing just now, just testing it out, and it basically shows all the games you played. And then it tells you free blocks, hotkeys. It gives you the hotkeys to uh, fast forward, save states, load state. This is something that the old PlayStation emulators had but it didn't work as well so now they fixed everything everything is awesome so everything else I will leave the same emulations everything is the same okay second thing is once you run the games you'll go either run ISO or run CD you run CD if you have um, obviously the CD of the game or the ISO or image file sometimes Q file which this one gives to me so usually it just highlights which one is the game file so in this instance the Q file is this one you'll need to run coexist together so if you don't have the bin file the Q file won't run so you'll just hit open some games take longer than usual to open so be patient if they don't run the first time just keep retrying quitting the application Eventually, it'll run. Just give it a moment. And this will. Press start to begin. Move it down to load game. Oh, there's my game I'm just playing. Uh, let's just test it out. Let's just jump in here real quick. actually really good. Maybe because I'm running a, on a new iMac, but actually quite better than I expected. Uh, 
All right, let's just quit this for now. All right, so as you can see, this is 10 times better, if not more, than the older version of PC SXR that everyone's been having trouble with. So now that you have this application, this runs all the Macs, all any version of the OS. So if you guys have any questions for me, just leave it down in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as possible and hopefully you can get it running this time as in the previous versions a lot of people had problems with it so hopefully this one fixes every need that everyone had so that's it for today um, have a great day